GRE quantitative reasoning practice question, it is a medium difficulty question. This is a select one or more answer type question from number properties. Concept tested is number of factors of a number, right. So, number properties, number of factors is idea tested, number of divisors is idea tested. Which of the following numbers has an even number of positive integer factors? Indicate all such numbers is what they have said. Given six values, we need to pick which all of these numbers are going to have even number of factors. One way of solving this question is basically listing down the factors of these numbers. For example, for 29, the factors will essentially be a 1 and a 29, right. So, prime number, two factors. Does it have an even number of factors? Yes. So, A is definitely one of the answer options. Run through the entire list that way and get to the answer. Next slide or the slide after that when you are actually solving it, I will do it for 216. You will realize why this method is cumbersome, right. For something like a 29, it is very easy. Something like 216, 384, it could get a little cumbersome. Let us check out for 216, then we will know this is probably the method not to use. But this is definitely a valid method if you do not know the alternative, if you did not know what the concept behind it is, right. So, we will keep this in abeyance. So, that method of listing down the factors, counting them is a way of arriving at the answer, but obviously not the way given GRE timelines, right. So, let us move on. Let us look at what kind of numbers will have an even number of positive integer factors, right. Let us look at the concept behind it. Right. I want to start with odd and then move on to even. Odd number of factors, number of factors, this is talking about number of factors. If the number of factors is odd, such a number is going to be a perfect square, right. So, we are talking about any perfect square will have an odd number of positive integer factors. So, if a number has got even number of positive integer factors, that number has to be a non-perfect, it is not a square, perfect square, it is not a perfect square. That is what we are looking at. An example would be basically for even number of factors, something like 8 is an example. What are all the factors of 8? 1 is a factor of 8, 8 is a factor of 8, 2 and 4. So, these are all the factors of 8. 8 is not a perfect square. I am not proving it this way. The proof as to why this works, the logic behind it is beyond the scope of solving this question. We have done it as part of our online course. So, if you are interested, you can always check it out there, but it is not going to be, I am not going to look at the logic here. I am just giving you an example to highlight this idea. We are going to look at this case, we will look at 4. 4 is a perfect square. Factors of 4 are 1, 4, 2. So, number of factors for a per perfect square is odd. Number of positive integer factors for a number which is not a perfect square is essentially even number of factors. So, all I am going to do is basically go to the next slide, list on the 6 answer options, check out which all numbers are not perfect squares those will have even number of factors. 29 is not a perfect square. So, this is one of our answer options. It will have even number of factors. 116 is also not a perfect square. So, it will have an even number of positive integer factors. As I promised a little while ago, let us look at for 216. If we were to list on, look at how cumbersome it is likely to be. 216, what are all the factors? We will list on factors in sets of 2, 2, right. When you write 1 as a factor, immediately write 216 as a factor, right. So, you take factors in groups of 2, you do not miss out on anything. 2 is a factor of this number, correspondingly you are going to have a 108, right. Will 3 divide this number? Yes, 3 is a factor of this number, correspondingly you will have a 72, right. Will 4 divide this number? Yes, it is going to, the answer correspondingly is going to be equal to a 54. Will 5 divide this number? No, 6 will divide, 6 times 36 is what we have, right. We already written 10 factors and we are still counting. Will 7 divide this number? No. Will 8 divide this number? Yes, 8 is going to divide this number. 8 into what? 8 into uh, 27 is what we have, right? Eight, 25 into 8 is 200, 2 into 8 is 16. So, this basically, till this, it is not at over. Will 9 divide this number? Yes, 9 will divide. So, correspondingly, we are going to have a 24. 24 times 9 is 216. 10 will not divide this number, 11 will not divide this number because the difference in the digits is 8 minus 1, 7, not going to work. Will 12 divide this number? Yes, 12, 18, 12 times 18 is 216. Will 13 divide this number? No, 14 because we do not see a 7 will not work, 15 we do not see a 5 will not work, 16 will it divide this number? No, this is not going to be divisible by 16, right. So, this is essentially, a, no, it will not, 16 will not divide. 17 will not divide, we have already written 18. So, look at the number of factors. We have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. Yes, even number of factors, but I did this entire listing down to kind of highlight saying that how cumbersome it is to list down and count and get it. We need to use this logic. That is the only way to have got this question right. Fourth answer option is 384. Is 384 a perfect square? No. 361 is, 400 is, 384 is not. So, this is also one of our answer options because it is not a perfect square. It will have an even number of factors. So, look at E. 
676, 26 square this is. So this is going to have an odd number of factors. It is definitely not one of our answers. Let's look at 576. Yes, it's also a perfect square incidentally. This is 24 square. So it will have an odd number of factors. So among the six answer options, four of them match. Four of these numbers are not perfect squares. So A, B, C, D will be our answer options. 29, 116, 216 and 384 will have an even number of factors.